All right, welcome to Beyond Soup, where I put up all sorts of stuff. And today's stuff is burning a CD using an external player, like something like this. So basically what I wanted to show you is how easy it is to burn a disc on the Sony RCDW500C. Unfortunately, the changer side of this player uh, doesn't work. I think it needs uh, belt changing. But the player and the recorder is working fine. So let's just get started. Let's turn this on. And uh, it will make a little bit of noise because I think it's trying to use this player. Uh, it'll stop after a while. But a uh, quick thing uh, to make sure you guys know, in order to make a CD or a music CD uh, per se, is that you need a, a CDR music disc. You can't use a normal uh, data disc. You need a music disc. So uh, please keep that in mind if you are using a player like this, a recorder like this to make a, uh, a disc. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and open this. And like I said, this thing is working fine on the recorder and, and this side of the player. And what it'll do is it will try to read the table of contents, but because there isn't one uh, and it's a blank CD, it's just going to go ahead and try to initialize it. All right, there you go. So it's showing that you have 79 minutes of blank space. So um, you have that much room. And just in case you are going over that, just make sure uh, it's within the range. Anyway, um, again, I got it hooked up to my player right now. I'm going to go ahead and push record. And what it'll do is, again, it'll start doing its thing and give you some prompts. All right. Then what you'll notice here is it says new track and then it will show you to push the play button. So let's go ahead and push the play button. And then right after I do push the play button, then we'll start our music. There you are. It's now starting to record this uh, track. It will go ahead and continue to record until I'm done. So I'll probably end up recording about five songs on this thing. Um, but I'll go ahead and pause this and um, catch up when those five tracks are done. All right, we're back and uh, it's about uh, four tracks into it and I'm about to stop it now. Um, again, wanted to continue this demo and uh, let me go ahead and stop it. And now it, uh, it's gonna do its thing again. And now uh, we can go ahead and play it back, but I do wanna just finalize it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the finalize button. And then when it does that, it says question mark finalize and you have to push play, all right? So go ahead and push the play button and it'll do the countdown of um, finalizing the disc so it could put together a table of contents for you and it will notify uh, it'll notify us that it's when it's done but that means that finalize means that you could go ahead and play it back on another player um, so but now you can't do anything with the disc as far as adding more music to it once it's finalized it's pretty much done so just to let you know that that's the case but if let's just say i wanted to go ahead and add more music to it i could have but um you know in this case we just wanted to make sure that uh we do this demonstration at a timely manner so let's go ahead and wait for this thing to to finalize so another 15 seconds or so and then um and i'll show you what it does after that in terms of playback uh, again, with this Sony player, this is a Sony RCD 
W500C. It's got a five disc changer, but this one does not work in terms of, uh, I think again, the belts are, are needs, new, needs new belts, but this side is working uh, properly. Okay, now it's showing us that we've got 10 minutes of content on this disc. Uh, so we can go ahead and play it. Let's go. Oh, I guess it just did it. Okay, hold on. Go ahead and play it. Go. So that's pretty much it. Again, um, I know it took a little longer than um, than you would expect. Uh, this is the normal time uh, length of time that it does uh, do these recordings and finalizing, initializing stuff like that. So please take that into consideration when you do have these kind of players and um, want to go ahead and, and create a disc. So uh, you are with uh, Beyond Soup and uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel I again put up all sorts of stuff uh, from electronics to uh, just interesting things uh, and to things that are fun. Hopefully you found this video uh, helpful and, and interesting um, so we'll catch you next time on another um, on another unit to play with. Uh, just a quick thing about this player again. It's, uh, it was made in 2003 uh, to around 2008. It's got a signal to noise ratio of 20 to 20 K. Um, I'm sorry, a frequency response of 20 to 20 K and a signal to noise ratio of 98 dB with an output level of two volts. All right, thanks. Oh, yeah, you can see over here the uh, tracks that were made, right? Sorry. <laughs>